Hey, what's up guys? It's Adam. Welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I am going to be filming week one update of attending Paul Mitchell The School. So, if you don't know and didn't watch my last video, which is a cosmetology school clothing haul, I'll have it linked like up in the eye. It will be up there in the eye. Um, if you haven't checked it out, please go ahead and watch that. <laughs> But if you didn't know, I am attending a cosmetology school at Paul Mitchell the School. And I just completed my very first week of attending classes there. So I figured I would film a week one update for everyone and kind of talk about how my experience has been going so far. So if you're interested in seeing that, then keep on watching. So I am a part of the three-day program at Paul Mitchell School. I am a full-time three-day student. Um, so there's two different, well, technically three different types of, if you're going for the cosmetology program, three different programs that you can get enrolled into. And you can either do three day or five day full time or you can do night school which is part time so the five day at my particular school is tuesday through saturday and the three day you can either do monday tuesday wednesday or wednesday thursday friday so my the program that i am in is the three day full time wednesday thursday friday so I go to school on Wednesdays from 9.30 to 7.30, Thursdays from 9.30 to 7.30, and Fridays from 9.30 to 7.30. It's 10 hour days. Yes, they are super duper long, but it is so worth it in the end. I'm just gonna take you through my day-to-day -day process of like going to school there and just talk to you about what went down on each day and how I'm feeling and what I'm liking, what I'm disliking, so on and so forth. My first day was Wednesday. Um, I showed up. They texted me. They do a lot of communication through like text messaging. So they texted me the night before and said, please arrive at 9.15. So I arrived at 9.15 and they kind of just brought you down, showed you where your locker was because you get a locker put your things in, your dolly heads, your just things like that. So you get a locker with a code and then they also teach you how to clock in. So if you don't know, cosmetology school is tracked by hours. So it's a based on how many hours your particular state requires for you to like take the licensure test at the end, like the state board. And so my particular state requires 1500 hours um, to be completed in order to take the state board test. So you have to clock in and clock out to kind of log all of your hours and so on and so forth. So they teach you how to clock in, they get you settled in your lockers, make sure everything's okay, show you where your like core classroom is going to be and your instructor and you just kind of get settled and then you go straight into things. <laughs> So on my first day Wednesday, after clocking in and getting settled and kind of getting the hang of things, you go into your classroom and you begin by setting up your iPad. So at Paul Mitchell School, you get an iPad. It's part of your tuition and you, you use it for literally everything. Like this iPad is your baby at school. It has your books. You take pictures of everything. It is literally your baby. <laughs> if you lose, break, drop, damage, like you are lost without your iPad. <laughs> so it's very good, to, like you need to take care of your iPad. But, so once you get your iPad set up, the first day is basically just going over the rules, kind of the things about the school, the program, what you're gonna be learning, certain dates for things. Um, the first day is very boring and it's no joke gonna be 10 hours of you just sitting in a chair and listening to your learning leader like talk, <laughs> not even gonna lie. Um, the first day sucked and no joke after the first day, no matter how much I am in love 
in love with the craft of like hair and so on like the first day just literally made me not want to come back but it's okay I realized that I care more about my education and things like that that just to power through but so the second day you get we got into the classroom and immediately our kits were sitting there But, so our kids were sitting right there. We got in, we sat down in class, did our morning victories, and then immediately got to open our kits. Oh my God, I was just so happy to get my kit. I am going to be filming an entire separate video. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna film it now or in a couple of months um, when I get my entire kit, because you initially don't get your entire kit but of uh, like what comes in my Paul Mitchell to school cosmetology kit. I don't know if I'm gonna film like the base kit or the add-ons once we get more of our kits, but oh my God, I had to get a special kit because I am left-handed. So everyone else got a righty kit, but mine had to be ordered special because you have to order the certain shears and certain things for being left-handed. So after getting our kits, we immediately started with braiding. So braiding and some upstyling is like the very first thing that you're going to learn. So you start on your long hair dolly, which at our school is Miss Catherine. <laughs> you start on her and you start with basic three strand braid and then you do a French braid, a Dutch braid, cornrows, What else did we do? Fishtail. And then, yeah, I don't remember. But we did like five or six types of braids. And then that day, we did a little bit of book work. And then we went up and washed our dolly's heads. You like put them in the sink and you wash them. And <laughs> so we washed our dollies and kind of learned the basics of a shampoo. And then we brought our dollies back down to the room and we kind of got the sectioning ready for some shampoo sets. So we did the sectioning, the basic sections with the mohawk and then the four side sections, the two and two side, se side sections for shampoo sets. And we got that all sectioned and clipped up and we just, that was the end of the day. So we just left our dollies up on the tripods and left and let them sort of dry overnight just in the sections and that was basically our entire first day the first i mean the, our entire second day but first day actually using our dollies the time flies literally so fast when you're like up just working and doing your dollies it literally time just you snap and it's like a what? It's already 7.30, it's already time to go home, what? Um, so yeah, time flies literally so fast when you're like on your feet, moving around, doing a bunch of things. So that second day literally went so fast. I felt like I showed up, ate lunch, and literally left. It was just such a quick day. And so now the third day, which was Friday, we showed up and we immediately wet down our dolly's heads and began doing shampoo sets which if you don't know, it's basically a roller set. Just the big rollers and the mohawk and the two and two side sections. And then we put those in the dryer to dry. And while our long hair dollies were in the dryer drying the shampoo sets, we took out our medium length Cassie's dollies and we did some like ponytails, French twists, just some other little up styles until our long hair dollies were done drying in the dryer for the shampoo sets and once our long hair dollies were done drying we took them out took them out of the shampoo set um rollers and then we got to style them however you wanted i had never worked with that curly of hair before so it was very difficult for me to pick a style that i was like in love with i'll insert a picture of like a before and an after um 
so before like right when I took it out of the curlers it was like Shirley Temple curly and when I was done styling it I did sort of like a half up half down um teased um half up with the rest of the hair down look and I think it came out super cute but yeah so after we did that we styled our long hair dollies we took our short hair or medium length dollies and brought them up got them washed and then we did some learning the basic directional blow dry so I was just learning the three sections for the directional blow dry and the diagonal and then the back diagonal and for me it was kind of hard for the french twist and the blow dry those were the two things that was more difficult for me being left-handed because you have to kind of work in an opposite direction of everyone else. And then especially with the blow dry, you gotta like walk in the other direction as everyone else. And it's just kind of annoying, but I made do. And we did some book work and that was pretty much our third day. So the week one you do, that first day you do no hands-on pretty much. And then that second day you're immediately jumping in to entire days of hands-on learning and it was just so much fun and I literally just love like standing there and just playing with my dolly's hair like it's so much fun and it's the fun of the job and it's you have to be so creative so just open-minded about everything and I think genuinely <laughs> I'm having so much fun <laughs> So the first week at school is super laid back. You learn bare basics, but it's so much fun. And it, I swear to you, you will love it. I know next week, week two is color week. We are immediately jumping into some color, not like legit color. We're gonna use like conditioner as like fake foils and such, but ah, I'm so excited. I'm having so much fun at school. Week one has been so amazing. That was everything we did. And surprisingly, for being there for literally 30 hours in a week, that seems like such a little amount of things to do. But time flies so, so quickly. Like, you gotta do a demo of everything before you actually jump in on your dollies and try it. You've gotta wash, dry, blow dry, everything. It just takes so long, but time flies so quickly. And yeah. So if you are interested in going to cosmetology school, I would highly recommend if you have even the slightest inkling that this is something that you like genuinely like doing, I highly recommend it. It's so much fun and I'm. it's only been my first week and I'm so excited to see and learn especially learn so much more so yeah if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up it just lets me know that you are enjoying the type of content that i am making and want to see some more also go ahead and comment some video ideas that you want for me to do down below they don't necessarily have to be cosmetology school related or they can be it's totally up to you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our family it would mean the world to me <laughs> we are currently 12 subscribers strong Woo! thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed i love you all bye